Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, junction diode as a rectifier. This is a case study based problem. The process of conversion of an AC voltage into a DC voltage is called rectification. And the device which performs this conversion is called a rectifier. The characteristic of a PN junction diode reveal that when a PN junction diode is forward biased, it offers a low resistance and when it is reverse biased it offers a high resistance hence a pn junction diode conducts only when it is forward biased this property of a pn junction diode makes it suitable for its use as a rectifier thus when an ac voltage is applied across a pn junction it conducts only during those alternate half cycles for which it is forward biased a rectifier which rectifies only half cycle of an AC voltage is called a half wave rectifier and one that rectifies both the half cycles is known as a full wave rectifier. And the question asked based on this paragraph is, the first question is, the root mean square value of an alternating voltage applied to a full wave rectifier is V0 upon root 2. Then the root mean square value of the rectifier output voltage is and the options given are Option A, V0 upon root 2. Option B, V0 square upon root 2. Option C, 2 V0 upon root 2. And option D, V0 upon 2 root 2. So the problem is based on the topic, the PN junction diode as a rectifier. We know that the rectifier is a device that converts the AC voltage to the DC voltage. And in particular, that the first step, it converts the AC signal into a pulsating DC signals. Half wave rectifier is basically it converts the input AC signal in such a manner that it conducts only during one half of the cycle and the output is zero for the other half of the cycle. Whereas in the case of full wave rectifier, we get the output in both the cycles. So the question is asked about the value of the root mean square of the rectified output. Root mean square value of the input signal which is applied across the diode combination so that we get the output is this is the input signal this is pure ac signal vi versus t and the output obtained in the case of a full wave rectifier looks like this looks like this this is the output voltage versus time so you have to remember that if the rms value of the input signal is V0 upon root 2, then the RMS value of the corresponding output is also same as that V0 upon root 2 for the full wave rectifier. So we can say that in this particular case, the option A is correct here. Because for the full wave rectifier, whatever be the RMS value of the applied input voltage, we get the same value as at the output. V0 upon root 2 is the RMS value of the output of the full wave rectifier. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you. So the second question based on this particular paragraph is in a full wave rectifier the current in each of the diode flows for option A complete cycle of the input signal, option B half cycle of the input signal, option C less than half cycle of the input signal and option D only for the positive half cycle of the input signal. So the problem is based on the full wave rectifier. In a full wave rectifier we know that for example this is the secondary side. And in the second side, this is the diode here. And uh, this is the second diode here. Suppose this is D1, this is D2. And suppose this is the load resistance. So, for this particular secondary side, suppose this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus. It means that this particular section, the diode D1 conducts in this particular half cycle and diode D2 is off. So, for only the half cycle, D1 conducts. This is off. D2 is off. For other half cycles, the polarity reverses. For example, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus, this is plus. It means that now D2 conducts, D2 is off. D2 is on, D1 is off. So we can say that for only half the cycle, each the diode conducts. So we can say that option B is the correct option here. So this is the solution of the second question of this particular case study. So hope you understand the solution. So the third question based on this case study is, in a full wave rectifier, option A, 
both diodes are forward biased at the same time. Option B, both diodes are reverse biased at the same time. Option C, one is forward biased and the other is reverse biased at the same time. And option D, both are forward biased in the first half cycle and reverse biased in the second half of the cycle. So the problem is based on the working of the fully rectifier. So for a fully rectifier, suppose this is the particular circuit. We have the secondary side and diode D1 is connected here and diode D2 is connected here. And this is the load resistance RL. Now this particular configuration for this particular circuit, when there is a first positive cycle, then this terminal is positive with respect to the middle terminal and the terminal middle terminal is positive with respect to the lowest terminal. So in this way we can say that this positive goes to the diode D1 and this negative goes to the diode D2. So we can say that in the first half cycle only the diode D1 conducts and D2 is off. So in this way only the C option is correct here. One is forward bias and the other is reverse bias at the same time. So we can easily say that for the positive half cycle, for the first half cycle, uh, the diode D1 conducts and D2 is off. Whereas for the second cycle, the polarity reverses. The polarity reverses for the second cycle. This is negative, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive. So in this way, D1 is off, D1, D2 is on. Or we can say that D1 is reverse biased and D2 is forward biased. So in this cycle also, we can say that Condition C is met. Option C is correct here. So we can say that one is forward biased and the other is reverse biased at the same time. So for both the cycles, we can say that this statement is true. So option C is the correct option here. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you. So the fourth question based on this case study is an alternating voltage of frequency 50 Hertz is applied to a half wave rectifier then the ripple frequency of the output will be option A, 100 Hertz, option B, 50 Hertz, option C, 25 Hertz, and option D, 150 Hertz. So this particular problem is based on the ripple frequency. Suppose this is the input voltage waveform. This is the input voltage with respect to time, which is applied across the diode combination. Now in the case of a half wave rectifier, we get the output like this. We get the output like this. We get only the half cycle. So this is the output for the half wave rectifier. Suppose the frequency of this particular signal is F. Then in the case of half wave rectifier, the frequency is also F. If you can see that this frequency is same. but if we take the output of the full wave rectifier, we get the output in both the cycles. So the ripple frequency is doubled. We get these two ripples here. So we can see that if the input voltage is having a frequency of F, then the output voltage corresponding to a full wave rectifier is a frequency of 2F. Now in this particular problem, we have to answer the output or the ripple frequency of the half wave rectifier. So we can say that half wave rectifier's output ripple frequency is same as that of the input waveform's frequency. So if the signal applied is 50 Hertz, in the case of the half wave rectifier, we get the 50 Hertz output, 50 Hertz ripple output frequency. So we can say that option B is the correct option here. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.